let's take a look at indexing and rounding spark plugs. So first of all, indexing, what we do is we have a look at where the tip of the spark plug is and mark it along here. That way, when that's installed in the cylinder, we can see where the orientation is. So because threads are cut differently on each spark plug, you'll have some in a cylinder like this, some like this, all different positions. So this lets us know how it sits. What we want is to avoid this kind of scenario where the combustion mixture is coming up and it's passing its way around the spark. Something like this is more ideal where the mixture is passing through the gap where the spark is being made. So what we can do is have one mark here say in black and another mark here say in red. That way we can line up all of our spark plugs the same and we'll know they'll all be sat like this. The only way to do that is to use some washers because obviously when we tighten these they'll sit in whatever position they want. So you can buy packs of washers designed just for this. They'll be conical and of different thicknesses. So you select the thickness that helps you seat that to the position you want it. So that's indexing a spark plug. It's making a mark on the outside so you know where the tip sits and then it allows you to then position the spark plug as you want. Rounding a spark plug is to do with how the tip is shaped. Normally when you buy a spark plug, it will be squared. Let's just uh, try and get some focus here. There we go. And so this is an out of the box spark plug. You can see it's a square tip and we can file that to a round shape like this. So we just change the profile from square to round. The reason for this, in theory, the spark is jumping around more because there's more area. There's also corners here, and that can lead to a spark jumping from the corner, which will also be a thinner spark, whereas this focuses it more and you should theoretically have a stronger, more consistent spark. One thing to note when doing this is it's hard to see but there is a slight U shape on these, on the underneath. So just make sure you put that same U shaped profile here. But nevertheless, that's the goal you want. You don't want any corners where a spark could jump. So you want to have a rounded profile like that and then just soften the edges there as well. So that's indexing and rounding spark plugs.